I'm Ryan Callahan with your Go Vols 24-7 Recruiting Roundup. Tennessee's home game Saturday against Florida, as expected, turned out to be one of the Vols' biggest recruiting weekends of the year. They hosted seven official visitors and dozens of high-priority targets in the 2015, 2016, and even 2017 classes. Uh, the official visitors, of course, the main focus of the weekend uh, with some of Tennessee's top targets and some guys committed to other schools in town for that game. Uh, one of the top names on the list was Johnny Frazier, a top 100 running back from Princeton, North Carolina. He's been committed to Florida State for a couple of months. A uh, big first step for Tennessee to get him on campus for the first time. He seemed to really enjoy the visit. Uh, said Tennessee's still behind a few other teams, but they really made a good impression on him. Uh, he's already planning, in fact, to come back for Tennessee's game against Alabama later this month on an unofficial visit to the Vols. Uh, it seemed like they definitely put themselves in the mix with that visit. Uh, also, four-star offensive lineman Patrick Allen from up in Maryland. He's committed to Georgia right now, but it sounds like Tennessee really gave him something to think about during his, his weekend visit in Knoxville. It was the second time he'd been back to Tennessee. He was there in June right after his, uh, his latest visit to Georgia. He's still planning to take a couple more official visits. He's going to Arkansas this weekend, uh, Georgia next month for his official visit there. He's already been to Oklahoma and Michigan last month. Uh, so Tennessee's still battling a few other teams, but as of right now, uh, it sounds like Tennessee's really put itself in the mix with him as well and might be a contender going forward as the Vols continue to look for another offensive tackle in this class. Um, top 247 cornerback Micah Abernathy of Norcross, Georgia, uh, has been really uh, high on Tennessee for quite some time. His brother, uh, Ralph David Abernathy the fourth, played for Butch Jones and his staff at Cincinnati. Uh, and now Tennessee looks like it might be the, the, the favorite to land him possibly going into the final few days before his decision. He's hoping to make a decision between Tennessee and Georgia perhaps by the end of the week, if not uh, definitely by next week is his goal. We'll see if that happens. But as of right now, certainly a chance Tennessee could end up uh, landing Abernathy in the not too distant future. Uh, Mook Reynolds, a four-star cornerback from North Carolina, who's currently committed to Virginia Tech, is back uh, was in town on, on his official visit over the weekend. He, he had been wanting to make the trip to Tennessee for several months now. Finally made that trip last week and, uh, and it sounds like Tennessee really made a good impression on him as well. I think it's probably going to take a lot to, to steal him away from Virginia Tech right now. So we'll see what happens with that one going forward. But Tennessee uh, definitely took a step forward with him. Uh, Matthew Burrell, a top 100 offensive lineman from up in Virginia near, near Washington, D.C. He's uh, been believed to be leaning toward Ohio State so far. Uh, and that's probably still the case coming out of that visit. Tennessee probably still chasing uh, one or two other teams at least, but it sounds like the Vols made a really big impression on him. Uh, Four-star defensive end Daryl Taylor of Virginia, who just committed to Tennessee uh, about a week before his visit, uh, was on campus on his official visit over the weekend. Uh, good step for Tennessee to get him on campus. Uh, again, it's only the second time he had visited, uh, so perhaps solidified things a little bit more with his commitment, but he's still planning to take some visits to other schools, it sounds like, with Virginia Tech probably still being the main threat to Tennessee with him. Uh, also, Ricky DeBerry, a top 100 defensive end and linebacker from Virginia, was uh, back in town. He's visited Tennessee several times now. It sounds like Tennessee's still a strong contender uh, for him, but several other teams also in the mix there, uh, Oklahoma, Alabama, uh, and he's going to continue to take visits uh, over the next couple of months, not planning to make a decision until December, but Tennessee's been involved with him for a couple of years now and, uh, and still remains a strong factor in his recruitment. Also, DeAndre Walker uh, was in town on unofficial visit, a four-star defensive end from down in Georgia, been high on Tennessee for a long time. Uh, an another positive step in, in his recruitment for the Vols to get him back in town for the first time in about four months. Uh, it's still looking like a Tennessee, Georgia, and Auburn battle for him. Also, Corte Sapp, a four-star linebacker from the Atlanta area, uh, was in town on an unofficial visit. And then four-star running back Keyshawn Vaughn of Nashville. Uh, so a number of guys, those are just the, the 2015 targets that Tennessee had in town, the, the main guys, but a number of important 2016 prospects, including Nigel Warrior, a four-star defensive back from down in Georgia, who is Dale Carter's son, the son of the former Tennessee defensive back. So uh, big, big recruiting weekend for the Vols. Uh, doesn't look like this weekend will, will be quite as big of a recruiting weekend, but uh, there, there could be a couple of important visitors, at least in town, for Tennessee on unofficial visits. Drew Richmond, top 100 offensive lineman from over in Memphis, who's just committed to Ole Miss less than a month ago. Uh, sounds like he's planning to come into town on Thursday, stay in town until the weekend to attend Saturday's game. So it would be big for Tennessee to get him back in town if he follows through on that plan. Also, Kyle Phillips, the defensive end from Nashville, four-star prospect, uh, another one of the state's top players and, and really a high priority for the Vols, uh, has, has been talking about coming back into town this weekend. We'll see if he makes it. Uh, there, there likely will be a few other visitors um, that, that make it in town this weekend, but probably a pretty light weekend compared to last week's game against Florida. We'll have more on those visitors next week in the Go Vols 24-7 Recruiting Roundup.